This is Jamie Shaw. I am a senior CAD support specialist with the Illinois Department of Transportation and I wanted to show you a new feature today that I stumbled across developing some training. So if you have a say I have a right away drawing from a consultant and I'll open it up here make sure you're in the you know your district workspace um, take a little bit for ORD to open up here so all these lines in here are especially proposed right away and that's what we're after I've already done the existing right away but we're after proposed right away you see they're all smart lines you'll look at the properties they're just a smart line put on a level so what we're going to do we're going to go create file new oh I see new I need to go back to the right line plats training and I'm going to create P propose right away and make sure browse and make sure it's a 2d file and then we're going to save that I'm still working in the district district workspace <clears throat> and there this is a blank file blank 2d file so we're going to go to the home tab we're going to go attach references and then we're going to go file attach to that consultant right away file because we want to federate all our files I got section corner you know the section breakdowns in one file I've got proposed or existing right away in another file now we're going to do propose right away so I'm going to do a zoom extents and then I'm going to go to the level display and I'm going to turn everything off except for the proposed right away and saying the consultants not following I dot standards they got quarter section lines or quarter quarter section lines is blue they're on the right level but they're blue and they're not supposed to be blue they're supposed to be all the same color so let's turn all this stuff off all the points off let's turn the existing right away off and turn all these default points off now all we got in here is just the existing or proposed right away and we've got some temporary easement now because this file is a reference file what we need to do is window all of it and then we need to go to the drawing tab go copy and then we're gonna, what we're doing is copying the right away reference file into here I can go and detach that right away file now and you see it automatically put it to the correct scale which I have set to 1 to 50 but they're all little b pieces of line which is no big deal we can complex them together later but they're still just lines you see it's just a line and that's all it is so what we're going to do first we're going to take this line and these three lines here and do them first their temporary easement so if you hold down control you can window all of them together and then you want to go up to the search ribbon and type in set feature definition and set feature definition allows you to set a feature type to whatever you want to we're going to set it to a linear now we're going to assign our feature definition which is road weight proposed right away temporary easement and then we're going to give it a name which I'm going to just leave it the default name and then you're going to it's telling you data point to apply feature definition to four selected items so I data pointed and now they are temporary easement features see it's got a feature name and it's got a feature definition assigned to it both of them now with the right away we're going to do the same thing we're going to window the whole thing we're going to come back and hold control because we don't want the temporary easement to get overwritten into 
proposed right away feature definition. I'm going to do the same thing. This is not in here. Type it in here and it'll find it. Set feature definition. We want linear. We want to set it to road proposed right away line. And then we want 107 items data point to accept all of them. And it accepts them all. They're 1 to 50, so it puts them the correct scale, the correct feature. I see it's road proposed right away 96. Feature definitions road proposed right away line, just like we did. And it maintains all its geometry and all that stuff. And now it's something that we can work with. Now we want to go down and complex these together all the way down. But I'm going to leave it at that right at the moment. As you see, it created a 3D file too. So if we right click, because we're in a 2D drawing, it creates a 3D automatically. The zoom extends so they're not there because they don't have a profile assigned to them. So no big deal. We don't need a profile on them anyway. So now we can go through and complex all these together if we want to. But I'm going to go in and add, attach the proposed alignment. And there's our proposed alignment. And you see we got right away along the proposed line. And if we want to see the existing line or existing right away in there too, we've got our files all federated. We can go in and pick existing right away file. Since I've got them all separated now, you can see where your existing alignment is or existing right away is. So now we can start prepping to do plats all through here. So that's all I have today. This is how to convert uh, smart lines into feature lines. Thank you.